Good evening, you're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Mary Claire. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, marking his country's national day. His Majesty wished His Highness the Emir good health and happiness and further progress and prosperity for Kuwait and its people. He also praised the close and deep rooted relations linking the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, marking his country's national day. His Royal Highness wished His Highness Sheikh Sabah good health and happiness and further progress and prosperity for Kuwait and its people under his wise leadership. He also praised the close and deep rooted relations linking the two countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent similar cables to the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and the Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Jabr Al Mubarak Al Hamad Al Sabah, on the national occasion. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of good wishes to His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, marking his country's national day. His Royal Highness wished His Highness the Emir of Kuwait good health and happiness and to Kuwait and its people further progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. He also praised the close and deep looted relations linking the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent similar cables to the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and to the Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Jabr Al Mubarak Al Hamad Al Sabah on his national occasion. The Deputy of His Majesty the King, the Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received at his weekly majlis at Rifal Palace members of the royal family, senior state officials, members of the Shura representatives and municipal councils, religious figures and key economic and social figures, as well as diplomats, academics and intellectuals. The audience expressed appreciation and pride in meeting with him, saying it reflects his keenness to cement his interaction with the people, in line with the approach adopted by His Majesty the King. They noted His Royal Highness's care in reinforcing the principles of patriotism, affirming the role of sustainable development in achieving progress under the principles of His Majesty's reform project, and the efforts of the government to achieve the best living standards for citizens.
Morocco's Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Goudaybia Palace today the board chairman and managing director of Coca-Cola Company, Mr Mukhtar Kent. His Royal Highness highlighted the government's unwavering efforts to attract leading international companies by creating a stimulating investment atmosphere. He stressed the government's constant keenness to create conditions and a suitable atmosphere for promoting the kingdom's status as an investment hub. His Royal Highness welcomed the trend of major world companies expanding their scope of their activities in Bahrain, which reflects their confidence in the kingdom's economy and in its ability to create a positive atmosphere that ensures the success of their operations. He said the country's infrastructure achievements are the backbone of the economy, while investment is the means that enhances its growth and consolidates the government's policies of diversifying economic base, attracting investment and promoting Bahrain as a global financial centre for industrial trade and service investment. His Royal Highness said it was increasingly important to attract foreign investment to the country and therefore the government was continuing its efforts to maximize its investment atmosphere based on an integrated legislative and regulatory system that will promote confidence in Bahrain's business climate. He said the government was particularly keen to encourage value-added investment that ensure sustainable growth for the national economy. The Prime Minister praised Coca-Cola's long experience and increasing commercial operations in the kingdom and across the world, which reflects the company's prestige. For his part, Mr Kent said the stability enjoyed by the kingdom had helped it to attract more investment thanks to the sound policies of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, in hosting legal international companies and providing all the necessary criteria to make Bahrain a favourable destination for investors. He also commended the Kingdom's economic and investment development and praised the government's support for international companies. Deputised by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women and Chairwoman of the Consultative Council of the National Initiative for Agricultural Development, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, opened today the 11th Bahrain International Garden Show and the 50th anniversary of the Bahrain Flower and Vegetable Show. This year's show is under the theme of Agricultural Training for Sustainable Harvest and the event is being held until the 1st of February 2015. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika commended the high standards of this year's garden show, which she said is attributed to the care and support extended by His Majesty the King to the agricultural sector in Bahrain. This, she said, has encouraged both the government and the private sector to participate in the show. Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika added the show was a continuation of agricultural development in the kingdom, the history of which goes back to the 1950s, and the tribute, she said, goes to Bahraini men of the time, chief among them, the then ruler of Bahrain, the late His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, during whose era agriculture reached a high status among the projects executed by the government. Her Royal Highness also lauded the efforts exerted by the Ministry of Transportation, who issued a book that contains stamps that document the history of the show since its inception. She pointed out the show highlights the status of Bahrain as a pioneer in the region in the field of organising shows and forums and that this year's theme shows the importance of training in preparing national qualified staff in the field of agriculture, in addition to exploring modern methods in enhancing production quality. Her Royal Highness toured the exhibition, which includes agricultural products, agricultural tools and equipment, garden furniture and lighting. Princess Sabika affirmed the Bahrain International Garden Show is one of the most important locally organised annual agricultural activities in the Kingdom, with a vast international participation. The show has attracted exhibitors from Italy, Holland, France, Greece, Singapore, Taiwan, Japan, Cameroon, Uganda, Indonesia, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Egypt, Jordan, Lebanon, Morocco, Yemen and Sudan. The exhibition will also promote training opportunities that are provided by both local and regional institutes for the purpose of developing agricultural expertise that would support the future of the agricultural sector.
the 11th annual Bahrain International Garden Show is expected to attract thousands of visitors during its four-day run, featuring around 134 exhibitors from countries spanning the region and the world. Many Bahraini companies and government agencies are also participating in the fair, being held under the theme Agricultural Training for Sustainable Harvest. It is a well-known and an increasingly important exhibition given the Kingdom's strategy of promoting sustainable development and food security. The event has been organised by the National Initiative for Agricultural Development in collaboration with the United Nations Industrial Development Organisation and Tamkeen. There is um, a lot of education on offer in the theme stand talking about programmes for training uh, through or, uh, regional uh, organisations and through some uh, non-governmental organisations that pro offer training for those who are interested and those in special needs. And then there is also plenty of education in the, in the stands for the Ministry of Education, Bahrain University and Polytechnic. Now, if you're interested in entrepreneurship and gardening, then you have to visit the UNIDO uh, uh, section. There are many ideas for entrepreneurship and many inventions that have been created by Bahraini farmers uh, that I'm, I, I myself am very proud of, and it is important that people come and learn all of this. There are some goods and services on display here. Anything relating to gardening is under one roof. So if you have the time to come and join us, come and pick up your needs for your garden. Also, in hall number two, many of the organizations have outdone themselves in the latest land landscaping techniques. So there's plenty to see there. And uh, finally, our uh, great attraction every year is the farmer's market. Uh, we have a special place for farmers. We have 12 participating with us. So come pick up your vegetables from here. This year, the Bahrain International Garden Show coincides with the 50th anniversary of the Bahrain Garden Club and their annual flower and vegetable competition. The society is well represented at each edition of the Garden Show and continues its efforts throughout the year to get people of all age groups educated and involved in green endeavours. Now we are a cornerstone of this big international show and proudly this year we are celebrating 50 years of uh, green and uh, beautifying the, uh, the kingdom, encouraging the youth to involve in it uh, we are so excited. You will see a lot of the displays of the pictures at the school competition, students, uh, creativity and challenge. Uh, so it is really nice, you know, it is good feeling. It's very good feeling that uh, the Garden Club has a role in the community, in the kingdom. Uh, and it's uh, uh, reflecting the really uh, the awareness of the people of Bahrain that they are involved with nature. This is the most beautiful thing in life, you know, to be involved with nature. The Bahrain International Garden Show, which has become one of the most popular and well-known events on the Bahrain Exhibitions calendar, will continue here at the Bahrain International Exhibition Centre until March the 1st. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, paid a visit today to Bahrain Stand in the Gulf Educational Supplies and Solutions Exhibition, which takes place on the sidelines of the 8th Global Education Forum Exhibition being held in Dubai. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum was accompanied by the UAE's Minister of Education, Hussein Al Hamadi. On arrival at Bahrain stands, they were received by the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Al Naimi, and other senior ministry officials. Dr. Al Naimi briefed His Highness Sheikh Mohammed on the Kingdom's exhibition, highlighting the ministry's achievements on e learning and vocational and higher education, as well as his efforts to provide educational services for students with special needs. The Minister thanked His Highness Sheikh Mohammed for his visit, which reflects his keenness to develop the field of education. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Syed Al Zayani, yesterday opened the fifth annual Small and Medium Sized Enterprise Day Forum under the theme The Importance of Marketing and Exports for SMEs. Mr. Al Zayani said the SMEs today form 99% of companies registered in Bahrain, with a total committed capital of 1.7 billion Bahraini dinars. He added SMEs employ over 420,000 employees, of whom almost 53,000 are Bahrainis. The forum brings together a group of speakers, experts and entrepreneurs from Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Lebanon, Turkey, Britain and other countries. 
Some of the topics focus on the most important marketing tools and strategies and the importance of exports for small and medium enterprises. The main emphasis of the forum is creating a positive culture and maintaining a proper code of marketing ethics. The Southern Governor and Chairman of the Supreme Committee for the camping season, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, affirmed that His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa Award for the Best Camp had reached its goals and greatly contributed in raising public awareness of safety for campers and visitors. The Southern Governor toured the camping area and inspected all the facilities that met the criteria of the jury for the award. He then presented the award for this week's winner. Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid stressed that the aim of the award was to ensure the safety of campers during the camping season. The winner of this week's Best Camp Award expressed his appreciation to the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, for encouraging campers to ensure their safety and protect wildlife in the area. Kuwait is celebrating today the 54th National Day when, national, when Kuwaiti nationals and other GCC citizens mark the occasion with parades and festivities. More in this report. June 19, 1961 marked the day Kuwait won independence from Britain. The late Emir Sheikh Abdullah al Salim al Sabah, the country's 11th ruler, signed at that time the independence document with Sir George Middleton, the British commissioner in the Arabian Gulf thus repealing a treaty that had been signed by the 7th ruler, Sheikh Mubarak al Sabah with the UK on January 23, 1899. On May 18, 1964, the leaders decided to change the anniversary day, merging the date with February 25th, which coincides with Abdullah al Salim's ascending to the top post. Today, the state of Kuwait is celebrating its 54th National Day amid deepening sentiments of faithfulness and devotion to the homeland among the citizens. Kuwait, since 1962, has been updating its political system, starting with the establishment of the Constituent Assembly, charged with drafting national constitution based on democracy. Since its independence, Kuwait has adopted moderate and balanced external policies based on friendship, peace and stability, in addition to prosperity for nations. On GCC level, Kuwait enjoys outstanding deep-rooted relations with Bahrain, which resulted in constant cooperation in various fields. The historic relations witnessed continuous progress on both official and civil levels, as the two countries established several successful joint projects in the fields of economy, health, social and sports. Kuwait has succeeded in establishing strong relationships with friendly and brotherly countries, in addition to its leading role in promoting the GCC, backing international efforts for global peace and security. February is not a regular month for the Kuwaitis, it is the month during which sacrifices of the ancestors are remembered and the nationals have been celebrating the occasions with parades and festivities along the seaside Arabian Gulf Road.